Aaron Osborne. I am co-owner and lead brewer of Finley Brewing Company. We um, were a group of friends that would always go out for beers at the West End in town together. So we always talked about, man, there's no brewery around here. You know, it'd be fun to kind of open one one day. And then we, well, we don't know how to brew. So we started learning how to brew. So in 2000, right around the time of that flood, like 2006 time frame, we started brewing together um, in a garage. And we called ourselves Beachwood Brewing. And then uh, a few years later, we decided to buy this brew system that we're like, hey, this, this will make brewing easier for us. We want to put some money into it. We can pay for it amongst the six of us. And we bought that and we brewed on it. And we're like, hey, this would be cool to open a brewery with, even though we won't be able to do a lot. So we opened Finley Brewing Company um, in 2013. Went from home brewing up to doing that. And then a few years after that, this is when some of the flooding and some other issues come into play. Well, having to fight off some of the floods there um, and, and just having the desire to grow. But some of the flooding issues we'd have there was, it would always creep up. The floodwaters would always creep up and we would have to sandbag and we would have to pump out of that, out of the basement. Well, it wasn't really a basement, but crawl space of that building. And, um, and then there was a fire in the building next to us, but it forced us to change how we operate a little bit. So anyway, all those things combined and our desire to like want to like, hey, we can do this. We've been doing this for a while. We can do it bigger. Um, pushed us to buy this building and then move down here and really expand into what we are. Um, opening this business, we were on um, down just past the bridge on North Main, and we experienced never, we never flooded, but the building we had purchased, um, and we never flooded because we fought against it, but the build, building we had purchased in those big floods, um, I mean, it flooded like four foot in that building. So that, you know, buying that building, we knew like, ah, we're in the flood zone, and we know this problem exists. Um, so that's kind of like how I learned that, hey, I'm in the city, and I've lived the city my whole life, but I never really experienced it. To, um, to then affecting me really personally um, by potentially flooding my new business that we were starting. This guy, this guy, this guy. That was cool. When we bought this building, this building is in the flood zone. But what we did was we raised the floor in here. Um, by raising the floor, it took us out of the flood zone. So in theory, if we got that 100-year flood or that big flood, we can watch everybody sail by, and we're still going to be safe in here drinking a beer watching them and hopefully maybe helping them. But um, so, you know, that, that was what we did to help, you know, prevent the impact on us. So unless there is a, I don't know what I would even call it, a mega flood, 200 <laughs> year flood. But unless that were to happen, that really would wipe us out. Um, I, we're, we're happy and we're sitting pretty. We still do have to pay flood premiums and insurance and all that kind of stuff, but, um, but we're happy with what we did and where we are.